In this video, we will focus on discrete random variables. Discrete random variables. And we will define the probability mass function of a discrete random variable. And we will look at some common examples of discrete random variables. So recall that a discrete random variable, x, uh, it's, we call it discrete if its image if the image of the space omega is countable. You remember that from the previous video, if you watched the previous video. Now the probability mass function, probability mass function, which we abbreviate PMF, of a discrete random variable x is the function I'll write it as a lowercase p from the real numbers to the interval 0 to 1 such that p of a, of a number little x equals the probability that x equals little x. So that's just a simple definition. And let me make a remark about this definition. Remark. A couple of remarks. The probability that x lands in some set A is equal to the sum over all the numbers little x in a intersect s, I'll define s in a second what I mean, of the probability mass function at that point where s is just this this set of all the values that x can take. The image of x. And why is this the case? Well, we could just verify this easily. So this is in our notation from before the under the this is the the distribution of x the measure of a under the distribution of x and we can write this as the intersection with s we can always do this plus the intersection with s complement and this is the probability that x lands in the a intersect s complement, but s complement, x never lands in the complement of s, because this is the whole, the whole image. So this is just 0. And this part, well, this is the sum by countable additivity of a probability measure. This is the sum over the elements, because s is by assumption, S is a countable set as our assumption, so we can just sum over the elements that land in, in this set of the probability that X equals that element. And this is just the definition of the PMF, so that's equal to the right-hand side. Next, let me give you a bit of, oh, and let me make one other comment briefly here. So this implies in particular that the sum, so the probability that x is in all of R is equal to the sum over all the elements of x, all the elements x in S of this thing. But this always, this happens with probability 1. So that means that this is equal to 1. So the sum of little p of x, sum of probability mass function over all the elements of, of s is always equal to 1 for a PMF. So now let me continue. Make some notational comments. 
So when we're working with random variables, so for a discrete random variable x, we often write x uh, tilde little p uh, to mean x is distributed according to the PMF little p. So when we do this, we are assuming that there's some underlying probability measure space, you know, omega, sigma algebra A, and probability measure P, and that X is a random variable on this space, which gives rise to this probability mass function. But oftentimes people will just define, we'll just define a probability mass function, say X is distributed according to it, and we never make any reference to the underlying probability space. So when we do that, we just mean that take any, any any underlying probability measure space that's consistent with this definition, and that will suffice for our purposes. Now this notation is a, a little bit ambiguous because people off, also write x, the same thing, with f, capital F, when f is a CDF. So when f is a CDF, this means that x has the CDF f. So you have to understand what the object that, that this, this is understood to be. And one final way that the same notation is used, well, another way we mention is if q, whoa, that's a funny q, if q is the distribution of x, so remember we wrote that as this before, so if q is the distribution of x, then we will write x tilde q to mean that x has that that distribution. So all of these three, uh, you know, of course these are different objects in each case, but you have to understand what type of object it is in order to make sense of the statement. So now let me give you some examples of discrete random variables, some common examples. So the first one, x is Bernoulli, Bernoulli alpha, for some alpha in the interval from 0 to 1. If this is like a, this is like a coin flip, so uh, alpha is the probability of getting a heads or a one. Well, not that one. Alpha is the probability of getting heads or one, and uh, one minus alpha is the probability of getting tails. So this is so the the PMF in this case is p of one is alpha, p of zero is one minus alpha. So x takes the value 0 or 1. It's a Bernoulli random variable. And a binomial, whoa, binomial random variable, n alpha. These are parameters. We write this to denote the parameters of the distribution. For some integer n, some non-negative integer n, and again, some alpha in this interval. You could think of this as the number of heads in n coin flips, where the probability of getting heads on any given coin flip is alpha. And this has PMF. P of k is n choose k times alpha to the k times 1 minus alpha to the n minus k where k is in the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., up to n. And n choose k, this is the binomial coefficient. So n choose k is n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. So you could think of a, bi a binomial random variable actually as the sum of n Bernoulli random variables. It's a nice way to characterize it. So a third type of 
commonly occurring discrete random variable is what's called a geometric random variable and it has a parameter we'll, we'll, we'll write it as alpha again and alpha is also in this interval and this is can be interpreted as the number of heads that uh, or rather the number of coin flips it would take you till you get the first head so you start flipping and you count how many times until you get a heads and this has PMF P of K equals 1 minus alpha to the K minus 1 times alpha where K is in it's a positive integer 1 2 3 4 etc all the way up to infinity and let me give you one more commonly occurring type of discrete random variable called a Poisson random variable and here lambda is some non-negative real number that's the parameter and a Poisson random variable can be interpreted as the number of customers arriving at a store in k minutes so so that well let me write it this way uh, no that's not what I wanted to say a Poisson random variable can be interpreted as the number of customers arriving at a store in one hour if they arrive at a constant rate quote unquote I'm not gonna make this precise a constant rate of lambda customers per hour but the times between their arrivals are independent so that was sort of a a fuzzy definition but this that can be made, made precise in, in the form of what's called a Poisson process but that gives you a sort of idea of what a Poisson a random variable models and its PMF is defined by e to the minus lambda times lambda to the k divided by k factorial where here k ranges over non-negative integers so those are just a few examples of commonly occurring discrete random variables